me at the bar, meet me at the bar. Life on Tap, episode 81, coming at you now. Uh, thank you to all you returning uh, listeners slash watchers out there, and, and a great welcome to all you new ones out there. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the great uh, Montreal nightlife recap we had uh, featuring uh, T-Bone Sullivan, a.k.a. Dave, and the one the only Scotty J. Uh, ha- hopefully we'll have the culinary um, trip that Cheryl and I took a couple weeks later. Uh, hopefully I'll have a review up on that shortly as well. I'll be working on that in between all the crazy schoolwork that has already happened already. Um, so I want to give a great big shout out to all uh, my school peeps out there. Hope your classes are, are working out pretty well. Uh, and I uh, also want to give a shout out to everyone out there who's to be now enjoying Craft Beer Week here in New York. Uh, hot off the tails off the GABF, which I unfortunately couldn't go to because I was uh, fasting on, uh, on the Big Kipper, as they say. But uh, hot on the tails of that, we got some really awesome events coming up locally all everywhere else. Hope you guys picked up your passports. Uh, only 10 bucks. Great, great, Amer- amazing deal. There's some great glassware uh, you can get out there as well that is branded in the whole nine yards. You can also pick up your homebrewing kits while supplies last over there in Brooklyn. So definitely check out the website. I'll throw it up right over, I'll throw it up here and also throw it in the show notes. Definitely hope you guys enjoy that. Um, so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and do is I was um, dropped off some bottles care of care of my, my dad and other people and also care of um, a couple weeks ago a, a trip out to uh, uh, Joe Canals over there in Woodbridge, uh, over there in the um, Woodbridge area or whatnot. Before we headed over to uh, Fudgem's wedding, so we'll have a whole. I have a whole slew of beers that I'm going to be hopefully just knocking out left and right as soon as I possibly can get them out. So the, this is the first of a series of four. Um, I had a chance to basically check out uh, Founders Brewing uh, a, a long time ago, obviously with KBS. Everyone, I think that's the quintessential one that I, almost everyone knows. Um, but they do have a, great, a lot of great se- um, standard and also seasonal offerings as well. You got to keep out, keep an eye out for there. So this is the first of their many. I've had them most of them on tap previously, which and they've all been excellent. But today we're going to do the uh, red rye uh, pale ale. And this is in a, in a bottle, obviously. Um, this comes in at 6.6 ABV, and it's uh, 70 IBUs. So it's uh, let's give let's give this thing a pour. So, actually, if I had a little extra cash, I probably would have picked up some of that glassware. With it. It's really nice looking glassware for a crappy week. As you can see, it actually pours out fairly cloudy, um, but a nice kind of uh, orangish, borderline almost amber um, kind of feel to it. Nice kind of uh, frothy, yellow, off-white head here. There's this gorgeous kind of malt flavor. It comes up with a little bit of kind of a uh, citrus kind of grapefruity back note on here. It's inc- it's it's inc- it's, an, it's a really there's a little bit of spice in it too, kind of um, off of it as well. I remember uh, reading about this. There's that uh, they use uh, Belgian caramel malts in here, so that so I'm probably that's where this kind of sweetiness, the sweet heartiness is coming from. This this richness comes from it. So let's give things a shot. I have to say, um, because I did have this on tap, and usually when I have things on tap, you know, obviously it's oh, it's fresher, it's more out there. But I have to say that this is kept very well, very good in the bottle. Um, this specific bottle, all things considered, so I'm very happy about that. Um, you do get obviously um, it comes off right up front, the rich malt sweetness, and then kind of trails off to the back to reveal that um, that dry hop finish, and it's kind of mixed. It's kind of a little bit of hop. A little bit of rye, it kind of all mixes in there. It's got a great, it's got a great balance to it. Um, I, I love, I love red ales. I love, I love rye ales as well as you saw on previous episodes. And I have a actually a couple ryes I'll be reviewing in the next couple weeks as well. Um, and so I hope you know if you can, if you can get founders, you know whatever you can get out there, definitely give them a shot. Um, I have a couple more coming up in the next couple episodes, so we'll hope you uh, get a chance to check those out as well. Or if you can, go even better, go out to Craft Beer right here in New York and go out to your favorite places and you know ch- check check them all out. Um, looking forward to going a couple places either tomorrow and or the day after and also over the weekend as well. So I'm crossing, your, crossing to get some awesome, awesome beers on tap or cast this for this week and this weekend up, leading up to, of course, Protopia Fest on October 2nd. So if you're going there, I'll be at the 12th to 4th shift on Saturday 
hit me up. I'll probably be wearing a, a beer shirt of some sort, like you, uh, like many times. So if you're interested out on the web, it's www.lifeontap.net. You can email us at lifeontap at lifeontap.net. You can check me out there on the Twitterverse and the Skyverse. I'm NewType2001. And on Facebook, it's facebook.com slash NewType2001. And um, also, leading up, every, you know, it's we're coming up basically... Uh, a little over a month, a month and change away from the Beer Bloggers Conference, so uh, you know I'm definitely anxiously awaiting that. It's gonna be a lot of fun, a lot of uh, great announcements coming out from there, a lot of great promotion. So I'm um, getting pumped up for that as well. But for the moment, you know, go out there, enjoy crap beer, where you go with your friends, go with your family, go with whoever you want to go with, because you just gotta live it up while you can. Because remember, life's a tap. Drink up till it's dry.